What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Um, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I was hoping that we would get um, some more stuff for Flash Week, which we did today. And um, it is a clip similar to the one that we got for Aquaman last week, for Aquaman Week. Um, it's an extension of the little teaser clip that we got at the beginning of the week. So we see some uh, few little like seconds of um, new footage here and there throughout the clip and um, just like the Aquaman week um, video Ezra Miller is talking about his character the Flash kind of giving us an idea of his abilities in more detail um, we see some more interaction between Bruce and Barry um, we hear a little bit more of the dialogue when Barry goes or um, when Bruce goes to recruit Barry telling him that I know you have abilities but I don't know exactly what they are um, we know that he did see Barry on surveillance footage from Lex's files in BBS um, so you can see him on the camera clearly um, you know he's at the cooler holding his milk and then all of a sudden he's taking out the guy at the register who's trying to rob the you know the clerk and then he's back at the you know, the cooler before his drink even hits the floor. So, um, maybe Bruce really doesn't know all of uh, Barry's abilities. Maybe he thinks he can teleport. Maybe he can't tell that he's running because he's so fast, which um, Ezra Miller brings out in the video. He explains um, Barry is so fast that he's invisible to the naked eye. So most people, they don't even see him running by, you know. Um... So maybe Bruce really doesn't know, or maybe he thinks he can teleport, or maybe he's just trying to get him to admit that he's the person that Bruce is looking for. Because <laughs> we know in the trailer, he's like, I don't know who you're looking for, but it's not me. And clearly, you know, he has his suit right there standing next, to, <laughs> set up next to him. So, um, of course, he's going to deny that he's the person. But then when Bruce throws his batarang at him, he obviously, he catches it, um, and time slows down, you know, that's how they portray it in the, in the trailer, in the movie, to give us an idea of how fast Barry is moving. And um, so maybe he was just trying to get Barry to admit that, yes, you do have abilities and you are the person I'm looking for. Um, or, like I said, maybe he just is not completely sure what Barry can do. Look, Dory! Yeah, Dory. So, um... And then we also get some more dialogue interaction between them. Uh, there's some more in, uh, dialogue interaction between Bruce and Barry in the scene where it looks like they're in that tunnel. Um, and Barry, is, we've seen the part where Barry is saying, I've never done battle, I just push people and run away. And now in this clip, we see Bruce is telling him, um, just save one person, just get in, get out. And um, Barry's asking him, well, which one? And Bruce was like, you'll know which one. So we get a little bit more in that scene that we haven't heard or seen before in any of the trailers. So maybe Bruce is referring to um, the scientists and stuff that are being kidnapped by the parademons, um, including Cyborg's dad. I don't know if that's what they're talking about, but it would make sense, I guess, if that's who they are talking about. But we'll just have to wait and see. So... Of course, more little clips of him, like, using his speed in this video. Um, Ezra Miller mentions how, you know, he can, exp he experiences time differently from regular people. Um, which also <clears throat> explains why Barry tells Bruce, I need friends. Because he just experiences the world differently than everyone else. And it's good that they're portraying, that they're giving us that idea in this movie. Because he's always just moving so fast that everything around him is slowed down and he can't, you know, it would be hard to interact with people and experience everything the same way as everyone else, you know. So it's good that they're giving us that idea in this, in this movie. Um, also, as I also, I mentioned this in my video yesterday too, um, Zack Snyder shared on Vero that over the course of the next month leading up to uh, the release of Justice League, he will be sharing behind the scenes photos um, on his Vero account, which is like the social media he uses most of the time. Um, and I wasn't sure how soon he would be sharing them. We don't know how often he's going to be sharing them, but he already shared two today. 
And there's one he shared of him standing in front of a sign of uh, that says Central City on it, which is <clears throat> appropriate given that it's Flash Week, right? Because that's where Flash lives. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's like a real sign that says Central City, you know. So um, he shared that one. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he also shared this picture of him with some of the um, Atlantean cast. Um, <clears throat> we haven't really seen much besides Arthur, Curry, and Mira. Um, so it's pretty cool to see this picture of more Atlanteans. Um, it looks like King Atlan over there in the corner, like to the left. Well, it'd be to Zack Snyder's right, but for us looking at the pictures to the left. Um, that's, they're, I don't know, I'm excited to see them, especially because Aquaman's uh, movie is the next one we're going to be getting um, at the end of next year, December 2018. So, who else? I, who knows what else Zack Snyder is going to be showing us leading up to the release of Justice League. And as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I think that's a cool way for him to stay involved in the promotion of the movie since he's not going to be doing formal promotions um, and press with the rest of the cast and everything. So that's his way, like I said yesterday, of staying in tune and connected to everyone leading up to the movie. I'm sure he's proud of what everyone's accomplished in the movie, including himself, and excited to see the finished product. I'm sure he's thankful that, you know, um, everyone stepped up to finish the movie and that they were understanding and supportive in his time of needing to step away for a while. And so I'm just, like I said, every time we get new stuff coming out, super, I get more excited. I can't believe we're only a few weeks away. Tickets go on sale October 30th, so not too far away. And then after that, it'll only be like two weeks till the movie comes out. So looking forward to see whose week it will be next, whose week will be next week. We've had Aquaman and Flash so far, have a few more characters to go through. Don't know if they're going to give us a Superman week. I'd be surprised. They probably won't because seeing as how they're showing new footage in everyone's little mini trailers, um, they would that means they would have to show us footage of Superman in the movie. And aside from the Clark scene that we got in the, in the recent trailer, I don't think we're going to get more than that, which is a good thing. I don't want more than that. Like I mentioned, that was the perfect way to show them without spoiling anything. So um, I don't think they'll do a Superman week don't think so I'd be surprised but I don't think so um, so yeah that's what I wanted to cover in today's video um, as always there's links in the description um, thank you to my viewers subscribers patrons and thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time